Hello Pisces, welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sage Sense and Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here Pisces and I do hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel. These are general tarot card messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Pisces, so welcome in and thank you for being here once more. We're going to get some love messages out for you. First thing I see here is some flirtation taking place. That's going to lead to happiness and feelings of well-being. Okay, so it's a good time to connect. Someone is going to be flirting with you, like giving you compliments, making you smile, making you feel good. And or you will be doing this to another person, Earth, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Okay. And I feel like this person is really flirting with you like this because they feel good. This person feels good. Maybe this person has come up on some money. Maybe they're going to be giving you gifts, but they're giving you from a place of feeling good. And this person really believes that you deserve this love, this attention that they're giving to you. Or like I say, Pisces, this is someone that you are giving your love and attention and you really feel like this person is really, really deserving of it. So it could be a person that you're planning on spending your festive holidays with, getting some heat going, romance, you know what I mean? Okay, I feel like both of you have chemistry. You're really fiery, attracted to one another at this time. I don't know what's going on, but the energy is light. It's like you have your inside jokes with each other at this moment. That's the kind of intimacy that you're experiencing with this person. You think of them, they come around, they're buying you gifts, they're doing special things for you to make you feel good. <clears throat> so I do feel like you're open to receiving love. So who is Pisces receiving love from the most? There's also a fire sign out here, Pisces, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be two people that you're connecting with. So Pisces, you could be connecting with an earth sign, definitely. Um, we could be talking about two people of similar vibrations. And I feel like this person could kind of be your, your soulmate. <clears throat> could kind of yeah <laughs> it's yeah they could be your soulmate in a kind of a way like twin flame energy like you two resonate especially when it comes to feelings of well-being so we're gonna shuffle the tarot get some tarot messages for you in love pisces so I feel like someone could be making some advancements toward you. Look, an old soulmate, but you're not sure how to feel. And this is based upon past experiences, dealing with toxicity, addictions, attachments, sexual vibrations that weren't serving you, being let off of your path. I feel like you just really want to refrain from all of that to move forward. So this offering that's coming toward you, Pisces, possibly, as I say, from an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, you're not sure how to feel. Maybe this person wants to come around to your life again. Maybe we're dealing with another water sign, too, that has earth tendencies when it comes to work. I feel like this person wants to be successful with you. They want to paint you the picture to show you that it can be good together magician someone wants to convince you that they're over there working in the distance just so that you can see that what they're coming with it makes sense like i say they're working magic pisces i feel like you could really use some clarity right now about things that have happened in your past, past relationships, maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a person that you were working with or a person that had their own company, their own business. There's something about not or blocking the love or 
maybe someone was giving love to another person and they weren't receiving it well and then there were words that were spoken maybe some truths words from a place of love or the lack of that the lack of love in this connection maybe this connection in your past was mainly based on attraction sex that kind of energy energy you know not heart and emotions but just certain vibrations but I'm um, working servicing I feel like so it's got you really thinking maybe hoping for something different with a with an earth sign maybe you're building a new connection and you're ready to move on from your past with this past person but maybe something is still unclear Maybe about how someone feels or some movement or yeah, feel like how someone feels at this point, the burden they bear, what they're thinking, the action that someone else is taking. You want to know, maybe you just want to know that they're okay. Maybe someone is wanting to come back or to move forward or you are ready to move forward Pisces, but you'd like to know that the person you're leaving behind Maybe emotionally is okay. Like you, you're checking in. You don't know how they're doing. Maybe you're not speaking with this person. Maybe this person is not speaking with you. There's no communication. So someone decided to move forward, to move on, to really, to. It's almost like deciding to not care what other people think anymore and to separate, to move forward to something new you know but now Pisces I'm seeing I feel like you do realize that you really do care about this person that you're moving on from you still care you know you're realizing that you actually care about this person's well-being that they're okay you realize then that you know like this person must have cared about you that what you shared with this person must have somehow been true Maybe you're thinking like this, Pisces, because you are experiencing this new connection with this earth sign that's giving you good feelings, complimenting you, and want a person with, that you're laughing with now, okay? So I feel like, you know, they're... Hmm. There could come a time where someone may betray another person I hear out of spite, but maybe not out of spite. Maybe not knowing that what the action that they're taking or the work that they're doing, they are actually inflicting pain upon someone else. This person, I don't feel like they do realize this. This is the future. But I feel like at the end, some happiness will be created, happiness will be restored for you, Pisces. Because you're getting the insight or the forewarning from the high priestess. It's going to cause you to hold back a little bit or maybe to, to allow to allow something to happen. Maybe you're you know someone is going to return to you or want to a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Maybe their energy you can feel their energy or their thoughts creeping around towards you or maybe this person is moving forward and you can feel the, the something clearing up as if something is made obvious to you it's the energy of when something someone leaves you get to see that they were bearing the bad energy or causing the blocks okay <clears throat> So let's look at this Ten of Swords energy. What is this disappointing situation? It's gonna the Ten of Swords. What is this in the future for Pisces? Love. Two of Swords. Yeah. So the action that someone else is taking it does affect you. It does. Maybe the words that they speak as well. The 
thoughts. This may be someone you have a soul connection with. And really whatever happens in their energy or the words that they speak, it really can affect you. But this person was, there may be a separation, maybe while well, this person is at work, they're saying something. And it could affect you. What does it affect for you, Pisces? As if you're going to get get back some messages that this person is saying something about you. But then we have the Ten of Cups. Something about a house or home or family. Soulmate, a twin flame. Victory. This is the page of wands. The one that is attracted to you or wants to come toward you. The one that was leaving in the past. You know that one? Maybe this is the one that is talking about you. They may be trying to hurt you, to take away your integrity, your dignity, your foundation, your stability, to break you down maybe as a person. But it could be that this person has jealousy, jealous energy. They see you creating a home, a life, sharing soul energy, soul mate vibration with another person. Okay? And so they have the energy of being jealous or envious about that, as if they can't help but be mischievous. Maybe it's because of what people around them are seeing as well. You know what I mean? So it's like they, they get caught up in the emotions. No, they're thinking maybe negatively, speaking negatively about you. But I do feel like this person loves you. In their eyes, I feel they admire you, they appreciate you. If only they had the guts to tell you how they really feel. Okay, maybe you once lived with this person, you know what I mean? Maybe you do still. And in hopes, I feel like in the far distant place in their mind, they were, they can't, they, they, I feel like this person is hoping for a new beginning with you. Oh my God. Mm. The cup's energy. All right. <clears throat> Marriage. Soulmates. Finances. Money. Emotions and money and all these things. That's what this relationship is surrounded or was by. Surrounded by. Because some people like valuing, having hope. Promoting well-being, mult multiplying money, meditation, connecting to source. You know, maybe two people are on different paths. But this new person that makes you laugh and that's flirting with you, that works to, for you, or works on themselves, is that you can feel that there's a connection you know that there's a strong union between the two of you. Like you are a soulmate with this person because you know you're on similar vibration. <clears throat> so someone may tell a lie and there's going to be foresight of it. Or it could be a truth that's going to be spoken. You know. I feel there's a bit of chaos or disagreements right now. Maybe in the home, in the family, in energy, 
feelings has something to do with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, emotions, and I hear dispel emotions, sexual energies, addictions in the home. I hear bias. Something about money, establishing foundation, confidence here, building something. I hear resources as well. Maybe someone's going to be left confused. It's that energy of not knowing what to say. It feels like a loss of words, not knowing how to feel. That may happen because some energies, someone is going to offer somebody something and maybe you should refuse this. A person that has their own business, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe you're going to go toward this person and maybe it's not going to be pleasant. I feel like there's something or someone you should detach from. Or circumstances. Things you shouldn't do. Right now. Like maybe be silent right now. You know what I mean? Use your intuition. And, and that silence is going to help you to get the truth. Maybe about a lover. It's something about following in your heart and a celebration, success, in love. So there are some things going on here in your situation. Pisces, right? Everything needs to be clear, clearing of water, the truth, energy, something is not said. It's the energy of carrying a secret, a family secret for a long time. It's, it's, like, it's like a horror film actually. And not saying anything, you know that this pond, this lake has, oh, I don't want to go there. I don't know if Halloween is still residing in me. But it's like, um, you know that this lake has corpses in it, corpses. But you're not seeing it. That's the energy of this lake. It's like, you know, when you're watching a movie, you know that this lake is haunted and there are corpses. You know what I mean, people? Yeah, we have to be careful with how we speak because I don't want to sound too scary and scare people off. And it's like knowing you grow up on this plot of land and you know that this is what's up with this plot of land here. And you're not really speaking about it. But there's something in your energy, Pisces, that needs this to clear up. It's like solving the mystery. You know what I mean? It's like figuring it out. It's the energy of someone in the horror movie who is going to figure out how to stop the horror from happening. Okay? Or who, you know, someone, it's the last moment. You know, like the movie, The Ring. Where this person has to go to the last straw to figure out how this whole horror started in order to stop someone from, you know, being caught up in the horror. It's that energy, really. That's what needs to clear up in this situation. That's what I see when I look at the star card and the queen of cups. It's like this clearing up of this age-old horror the secret this mystery that has been maybe in the family for a long ass time look this is family energy five off the five of wands and the devil sees just seems like that vibration to me and maybe this affects your love life pisces this person This is the person that would know the secret of the family, but this is not a family member. 
this person is attracted to you but they are manipulative because they know the secret as well they come around to you they flirt with you all these things you know they tell you they're attracted to you but you i don't feel like you pisces you're attracted to this person at I don't feel like you're attracted to this one. So I don't know. Who is this page of wands? Oh my god. Oh I like oh like oh like an old uncle, like an old this person is a person from your past. Could be a family member. I said it's not, but it could be. Or it's like a person that you shared affection with, an intimate relationship. Or not intimate relationship, but affection with. And this person has always been attracted to you. This person could have known from you were young and a, possibly a family member. Or a person that's not blood related, but has been seen as a part of the family. You know what I mean? person is older than you I feel or younger so I don't know this person may come around with gifts Something to do with a house, a wedding, a union of two souls or two energies uniting two people of the same faith, the same energy, the same courage, same desires, passions. It's almost like you were supposed to unite and then something happened to one of you and the meeting maybe did not happen. And someone was left waiting for the other one to arrive and maybe felt like, you know, why didn't they show up? But just wasn't aware that something prevented this one from coming and it could have been an intentional obstruction. Meaning something or someone did not want, like got the wind that you're going to unite. I don't know. Who's the high priestess? Pisces, I'm going to have to end this reading here. Thank you. Remember, hit the like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment. The sun is here. I love that the sun has decided to come out as we decide to depart. This is just saying to me things are going to work out in your favor. Prosper, success, abundance, and all of that for you. So really have no fear. You have the intuition. Stay prayed up, connected to the divine, connected to your intuition, my darling. And things are going to work out in your favor, Pisces. You're going to meet the one. All right. And this maybe has to do with the secret. Someone from your childhood is going to come around, I feel. And some things are going to clear up. Oh, my. All right, Pisces. Love you. Remember that all is within you. And I'll see you in the next reading. Take care. Bye. CMOS heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. CMOS has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about CMOS health benefits or to order your first premium grade CMOS, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.